Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So about two weeks ago, I posted this video. Um, and if you guys watched it, and I know many of you did, because there were many comments and I tried to get back to as many people as I could, but it's sometimes almost impossible. But this video did strike a chord with many of you. And I just wanted to continue the conversation on this. Um, because I know a lot of you really identified with this video. Um, basically, a young lady had sent me an email and we were talking for a good part of a week where she had, you know, collected a really nice uh, baby shower gift. And it was later learnt that, you know, um, the mom to be would rather have an item off of the registry and not this homemade coupon gift, um, which I think is so wrong, even saying it out loud. And I think all of you agreed. I think like one person didn't agree, but everybody else was totally like on board saying, what the heck, you know? And um, it was one of these things too, where people were sending me um, messages and that they had gone through something so, so, so similar. And that this girl just wasn't alone. If you want to go through that video and read through some of the comments, it's really jarring that, you know, you you curate a gift, you give to somebody in your family, you give to a friend, you give to a workmate, and they just don't appreciate what you're doing. And it's not that, uh, you know, you should be like, you know, put on a pedestal because you're this um, uber generous person. But you know, sometimes a simple thank you or being somewhat, you know, receiving something well, or being appreciative really makes a huge difference to somebody who has um, the super skill of couponing and can get, you know, tied for a dollar or, you know, whatever they might have or diapers for free. Um, and you, you would just think that um, if you were on the receiving end of that, not many of us are. If you're watching this video, you're you're looking for deals and you're shopping. I don't get why, why so many people who receive these gifts that are, you know, like, hundred plus dollars of stockpile items. They're just not grateful. And I will never understand that. And I don't understand every human being on earth, but it, sometimes being on the, the end of that, where you're trying to help somebody out um, who might be down on their luck and they're just acting like they're doing you a favor by receiving something. Well, yeah, it makes you feel like an underappreciated couponer and boom, I just said it out loud, uh, being an underappreciated couponer, it's not cool. And from my advice, um, cause I have been couponing a really long time. And for the most part, um, some people know that I coupon, but a lot of people I don't share this with. Um, cause I don't want to set a precedent where I'm always having to hook somebody up, like a friend of a friend of my husband's with stuff. If I know they're really struggling and they need something like, you know, diapers or something that I might have on the ready, I would more than generously help or try to do whatever to help them out. But for some people that I really don't know, it's not something that I lead with. And it's just how I am. And I'm kind of more of an understated person. Um, like I don't just, you know, show up and say, hey, I'm the boss of couponing and uh, etc. Like I'm really, really like a, a quiet person. I have a very odd sense of humor, but I'm like quiet person <laughs> about this because I do know that from experience and what I've seen in my many years of this, that sometimes if people know that you can get stuff, they think that you can get everything for free that they can just come to your house and just take whatever they want. And I have so many friends over the years where, you know, they've had a family member or somebody like a boyfriend's best friend's cousin that shows up and just goes through the stockpile room and there's like nothing left. Like all that's left is like a bottle of like, <laughs> you know, Purex and all the Tide and the really nice stuff and the cotton all is gone. And that happened to a really good friend of mine and she's so furious and well, she's such a good friend. I said, you know what? You can have half of mine. I don't care. You know, it's just, it's just one of those things. But how do you read somebody? I think the more that you do this, sometimes people just expect stuff. And for you as a couponer, you just have to know the people that you're gifting to. Um, and just really realize that if there's a certain level of that, they're acting like they're doing you a favor and you don't feel good inside about, you know, gifting to a certain person. Just because you're related to them doesn't mean you have to do this. Just because you work with somebody doesn't mean you have to provide them with like, you know, shaving cream and shampoo. That's a gift from you because you're being generous and kind. You can go and bring it to um, a women's shelter if you wanted to. You're not obligated to do this. You're doing it because you want to help somebody out or you think it's a nice thing to do. But if you wanted to just, um, you know, stop giving, that's totally okay. And often, sometimes you might have to really reevaluate like relationships with people. And I'm not saying to be like 
you know, um, a crappy person or to be like miserly with your stockpile. I think one of the greatest feelings ever uh, about being a couponer is to really bless somebody who's not expecting something and to just see the reaction because sometimes it's like you gave them a million dollars. And if you think about it, couponing is a very, very powerful skill. You might look in your stockpile, there might be twenty or $30,000 right there. And when you can help somebody who, you know, lost their home to a fire or, you know, they just lost their job, that is powerful when you can just hook them up with a, you know, a couple hundred dollars of, of items and you're not even feeling that out of your pocket. But you know these people best that are in your life and you got to make these hard decisions. And if something isn't cool with you, it is okay to not give. And this is a, a very harsh kind of message. A lot of you are probably going to say like, you're not being very nice saying that, you know, you're being a jerk. You should give to everyone. If somebody's going to be a jerk to you, you don't have to give. I mean, it's to your discretion. You read the room and you call the shots. And that's how this works. And I know that a lot of you don't feel appreciated. And I just wanted to make this video to say, hey, here's some validation. I have been where you are. And there are certain people in my life, I don't really give anything for my stockpile. And I'm not being a jerk. It's just that, you know, if if I think that you, you feel like you're doing me a favor by grabbing my toilet paper and whatever, I don't have to share and that's just me. And, you know, uh, for a shelter of dogs and cats that don't have homes, they need the Lysol wipes. They need uh, the, the, you know, the paper towels. They need food. They need this. They need that. I would rather give it to them. And that's my choice. So hopefully there's a message in this video. I know it's really somewhat kind of harsh just to lay this all out on the table. But I think many feel somewhat you know, in this situation. And if you go through that video and read through the comments, I'm not calling anyone out specifically, but lots of ladies feel less than appreciated and it is okay to say no. Message of the video. That's it for this one, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video.